In Design XGo, you have access to different kind of surface functionalities. So you can see it there. So you have extrude, revolve, loft, and sweep. So let's start with a loft, for instance. So here I got a sketch or a 3D sketch here with sections on the part. I will just launch here the loft function and I will then select every curve one by one just to define the path of the surface I want to use. And okay, so now the surface is created on the on the on the software. Let's hide the surface right now. And I will use one of another sketches. So that sketch is on the side here of the part. I will just use the extrude function, the extrude of that surface here, and I will just put the height of 40 millimeters, for example, here to go over the part. And on the other side, I will check the opposite direction and I will go up to here. It looks like it's five millimeters. And again, it creates a surface body. I can display it here. All right. I can, if I want to afterwards, use the stream to trim those surfaces. Now, the other thing we can use here is maybe revolve. So revolve here, I will just select my sketch, which is sketch two, for instance, and I will just select that sketch. If the sketch is well done, uh, the software doesn't ask you the axis uh, because the axis is defined inside the sketch. And then I can press OK. So you can see that now those functions uh, create all those features right now. Sometimes the direction of the surface is not well defined. It doesn't matter because as, at the end, when you trim those surfaces, the direction will be flipped up. Another function which is very useful in reverse engineering is the mesh fit. Mesh fit here in Design X Go is limited compared to the other version, but you still can create a very nice surface. So here I just select the mesh fit. I will select with the uh, uh, smart selection tools this area here. So I will click and hold and move the mouse up just to select as much polygons as possible. If it's not enough, I can press shift to add and move up again. So now I got all that selection. I can display and just orient my surface, my UNV parameters uh, of the surface, define whatever parameters I want to get. So either by deviation or by number of control points, and then press uh, preview just to check the results uh, out of this. Of course, at any time you can check if the surface is accurate or not compared to what you're looking for. So here we have a few microns. In Design Things Go, you can create automatic surface. So if you go to exact surfacing and auto surface, you get the basic option of the auto surface here where you can select the type of geometry, the patch network options, the fitting method and the fitting options. So usually let's go and let's create a mechanical object like that with that and press on next. So the software is going to compute all the curves and, and the surface patches and propose you a result and then you can review it, modify it if you would like, and then apply it. So here's the complexity on the, on the model the software wants to, to define. If it's okay, you can continue. Otherwise you can always tweak a little bit on those points if you want to move them and, and, uh, and modify it like that. Okay. And then you can press OK to validate and to create the object. So then the software creates all the surface and at the end it should create a solid body if everything goes well. So you'll see it here, solid body is displayed. And of course, check the accuracy analyzer.